Here's something you don't see every day, a military vehicle on the streets of Syracuse. This belongs to the Marine Reserve Unit here, and the Marines were at Syracuse City Hall this morning to raise their core flag as they celebrate the Marines' 239th birthday today. It's an annual event, but today the Marines were joined by Senator Chuck Schumer, talking about a growing concern for our military and veterans. The suicide rate among veterans and service members is going up at a rapid rate. Way up. For New York military alone, 1,500 military have committed suicide in the last 10 years, 500 more guard and reserves. Right now there's only suicide risk screening for military who deploy, or after their service is done, from the VA. Any veteran that comes into our emergency room is given a very brief screening with regard to thoughts about suicide. And if that screen is positive, then they'll take that into consideration as they're triaging whatever else might have brought the veteran in. The screening gap is in military who are not deployed overseas and the National Guard and Reserves. Now there's a push for funding for that testing in the defense bill before Congress. If you live here, central New York, and are a member of the Guard or Reserves, and you're not set to deploy or haven't been deployed recently, you cannot receive, even if you wish to, a mental health screening that could make tremendous difference in identifying and addressing suicide risk. Right now, if a service member is deployed overseas, there's a suicide potential screen. When the deployment is over, there's another. But that leaves a huge gap in tracking who might be vulnerable. Many health issues are developed over time. So if you stop the screening right after the person comes back from combat, that's not good enough. Senator Schumer was in Syracuse today helping the Marines celebrate the 239th birthday of the Corps and proposing a change to the screening rules that would cover all military, including National Guard and Reserves. If you live here, central New York, and are a member of the Guard or Reserves, and you're not set to deploy or haven't been deployed recently, you cannot receive, even if you wish to, a mental health screening that could make tremendous difference in identifying and addressing suicide risk. Those risks are being checked for for veterans. Suicide screenings are part of the tests if a vet comes into the VA emergency room chronic pain, post-traumatic stress, there's a, there's a number of different things that would help us to red flag different things that we would say, hmm, this is something that we need to be paying greater attention to. In New York State alone, 1,500 military-related suicides in the past 10 years, another 500 from the Guard or active or reserves. Schumer wants to see a change in testing in this year's defense bill. We have money that was um, allocated years ago, assuming we'd have hundreds of thousands of troops still in Iraq. So it'll come out of that. So it's in the budget already. Is this still in the House somewhere? Or is this only in the Senate? No, it's in the House and the Senate. 